Of the 7 billion people on this planet, over 2 billion of them do not have access to adequate sanitation facilities. Welcome to India. Population 1.2 billion. One seventh of the entire world's population. That's a lot of people. Unfortunately, one quarter of India's population, which is more than all the people in the United States, do not have access to adequate sanitation today. One way to think of this would be to picture the entire population of the United States without toilets. Which means that in many places, the ditch and the road is the toilet. But inadequate sanitation can be solved. Dr. Brian von Herzen, director of the Climate Foundation, is collaborating with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on a solution to improve the world for people, plants, and carbon sustainability. There is a sanitation technology breakthrough that can eliminate the need for power, water, or sewers and is financially sustainable. Last year, the Gates Foundation provided us with a grant to develop a scalable demonstration of biochar reactors. We are here in India to demonstrate that system to the Gates Foundation and to deploy that system in Africa later this year. Biochar is created from biomass. Biomass includes agricultural waste or human waste. The biomass is cooked at a high temperature without oxygen, creating a high quality charcoal. This charcoal, or biochar, when mixed into depleted soils, enables them to retain nutrients and water. That means that plants need less water and less fertilizer. It also means that when biochar is added to poor soil, the plants and crops grow far bigger each season while using less water and less fertilizer. The most exciting thing about biochar is that when a plant grows, it absorbs carbon from the air. When a plant dies, it releases it. But if the plant residues are pyrolyzed to biochar, the carbon stays in the ground for up to 1,000 years. So why isn't everybody making biochar? Well, it's like the early days of aviation. I believe it's possible to fly as a bird. <clears throat> there was a lot of innovation, a lot of failures, and a few breakthroughs. What we don't want to do is emit more carbon. What we are doing is creating a pyrolyzer, a poo cooker, a way to turn human waste into biochar. After years of work, a group of pioneers have come together from all over the world to assemble the Charbonator in a New Delhi warehouse. And like the beginning of the aviation industry, there are challenges. Challenges probably not faced before, such as the high moisture levels of human waste, odor management, the whole new problem of pyrolyzing poo, difficulty shipping the human waste for analysis, and of course, creating a sustainable business. But these brave pioneers believe that with biochar technology, human waste can be turned into a resource from being a hazardous liability. And these men begin where the human leaves off. Solid and liquid waste are collected separately. Next, the solid waste needs to be dried. Using an agricultural biomass dryer, the moisture levels in the solid waste drop from 70 to 30 percent. The dried solid waste is fed into the charbonizer, where in an oxygen-free environment, it cooks it at 300 to 700 degrees Celsius. The heat from the carbonizer powers an engine that produces electrical energy to power the drying system. It's a self-contained energy system. This process creates biochar, and the biochar can be used to cook the next batch of waste or be used in agriculture, which means that the system can work completely independently of the electrical grid. And the charbonator can easily be put in a remote area, processing the waste of thousands of people per day. If this solution is deployed throughout the world in lean countries, human-borne pathogens would decrease, the cost of growing food would go down, the soil would improve, the crops would improve, people's lives would improve, and by pulling carbon out of the air and holding it in the ground, the earth would have a chance to improve, and possibly save itself, restoring carbon balance. This process involves collaboration from across the world, not only to build the biochar reactor, but to facilitate regional manufacturing and to identify potential markets for biochar. It's poo that helps to pay for itself. 
To help save lives and our planet, we need your support. Become a Climate Foundation supporter at www.climatefoundation.org and join our efforts to improve global health.